All right, so in this video, I'm going to be giving an introduction to what images are. So I'll be talking about what an image is, go into some of the pixel ranges you should expect for an image, talk about the RGB for a pixel that you look at for an image, and then talk about some of the dimensions for an image as well as some tricky aspects to some of the dimensions. So stay till the end to see what that's all about. Okay, so what is an image? So when you get an image like this cute cat that I have right here, uh, what's really happening is you have a matrix that has a bunch of numbers. So we'll talk about what some of these numbers mean, but for now, just know that images are represented by a bunch of numbers stored inside a matrix. Okay, so when dealing with these numbers inside uh, your matrix, we want to look at what the pixel ranges are. So typically you'll hear what's called the eight bit representation. And the reason why it's called eight bits is because when you do two to the eight, you get uh, 256. And what that tells you is that the minimum number you could guess is zero and the maximum is 255. So zero to 255, you get a total of 256 numbers. And zero will usually correspond to black and the highest value will correspond to white. So that's how you actually use the numbers. And sometimes you might see um, the range might be shifted so that the middle is actually half of 255. So uh, depending on what convention, you may see different representation for your pixel values. Okay, so now we have the BGR for pixel. So what that is, is when you have a pixel value, right? So typically for one pixel, you're gonna have three numbers. And depending on the combination of these three numbers, you will have different colors that represent it. So um, depending on which, uh, you're use which program you're using. So in this case, if we're looking at OpenCV, the order is like this, BGR. Sometimes you'll see it as RGB. So depending on what you're using, you'll have different conventions. But pretty much every single pixel can be represented by a combination of these three numbers. And as we said earlier, the ranges of these numbers will be between 0 and 255. Okay. So now we want to talk about image dimension. So usually we have a single pixel. So sometimes a single pixel might be just you know one one of the values. If you're in the z direction, you have in the z you have zero, one, two. So you get three channels, and then you have m and n. So the m is the height, and the n is the width of your image. So one thing that's tricky is that you know, usually you have your axis here, right? This is actually your X and this is your Y. So notice that your X <coughs> corresponds to your N, which is your width. And then your Y corresponds to your M. So it's kind of flipped in a way, but the best way to check, I would say, is if you mess up, just switch it to see if you got it right. And if you got it wrong the third time, it's okay, no one will know. But just keep trying until the direction is what you expect. And that's a good that's a good thing about programming is that you know if you mess up, you get immediate feedback when you try something new. Okay, so pay attention to this XY. So if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.